Hi guys, myself Sachin. I am a student of SVC Bangalore. So my topic is low power techniques for Internet of Things or IoT devices. So contents are introduction to IoT devices. What is IoT devices? What are the uses of IoT devices? Low power techniques in IoT devices. Needs of low power technique in IoT devices. Common challenges in designing low power IoT devices. Finding and solution to low power IoT devices and conclusion. So introduction to IoT devices. So IoT stands for Internet of Things. It refers to the interconnectedness of physical devices such as appliances and vehicles that are embedded with software, sensors and connectivity which enables these objects to connect and exchange data. The technology allows for the collection and sharing of data from a vast network of devices creating opportunities for more efficient and automated systems. So next we will see about what is IoT devices. So Internet of Things is the networking of physical objects that contain electronics embedded within their architecture. In order to communicate and sense interactions among each other or with respect to the external environment. So IoT is in influencing our lifestyle from the way we react to the way we behave. From the air condition that you control with your smartphone to the smart cars providing shortest route. So IoT is a giant network with connected devices. So these devices gather and share data about how they are used and the environment in which they are operated. So we'll see about what are the uses of IoT devices. So uses of IoT devices. The industry is implementing IoT devices and technology for technical advancement. The uses and new capabilities are adding to this technology and are growing in year on year basis. So most organizations are using this technology to help make human life easier. So uses of IOTs in various industries. So it is used in manufacturing industries, agriculture industry, healthcare, insurance, home automation, energy sector and home automation and transportation. So next we'll see about low power techniques in IOT devices. The underlying silicon inside IOT edge devices fundamentally performs three key features. Sensing, processing and communication. What has caused the industry's interest in low power designs in the increasing market demand for IOT devices to have high performance, long battery life and mobility. When designing for low power, there are several techniques that can be employed. The first one is clock gating. Performed during logic synthesis where flip-flop with an enabled input are optimized into a clock gating structure. This technique saves a significant amount of area by reducing the needs for several multiplexes and minimizing dynamic power by reducing the overall switching activity. The next comes multi-voltage domains. With this technique, the function of a chip are classified into different voltages domain blocks based on the performance features. The underlying design then factors in which area of the chip requires an high voltage to function instead of the whole area being classified as an high performance help reduce both dynamic and static power consumption. So next comes the power gating. Similar to the multi voltage approach at a chip power system level Functions within an IC are classified into blocks based on their power domain. So power gating efficiently shuts off the power completely for a block, resulting in both static and dynamic power saving. So next comes the register retention. This approach is often used in the combination with the power gating technique. When the block is off, either a subset of the flip-flop or all the flip-flop in the block have their own previous value saved and then restored when turned on. This saves power by shortening the time and the steps required to restore the block's original state as well as improves the overall ramp up time. So next we'll see about needs of low power techniques in IoT devices. Companies all over the world are pushing for more features and functionalities in portable handling and battery powered gadgets. Improving the battery life by reducing power consumption is a key differentiator for such products and crucial to their end applications. Essentially, the goal of low power designs is to reduce both dynamic and static components of power consumption 
as much as possible. Switching and short circuit power makes up dynamic power, whereas static power is compromised of leakage current that flows through the circuit where there is no signal activity. The value of each power component is directly related to factors like frequency, peak current, voltage, transition time, leakage current, capacitive load, and switching activity. The higher the voltage value, the more power each component consumes. To attain desired performance while consuming the least amount of power, trades off for each of these factors are tested through various low power techniques and approaches to meet aggressive market demands. In the past, the main goal for the teams was to find the best way to reduce the silicon and incorporative connectivity and appeal the task to successfully achieve both parameters due to the additional memory and peripherals that are required to satisfy these type of demands. So next we'll see about common challenges in designing low power IoT devices. The first one is performance versus power. Ultimately, the most important point you must be aware of is performance versus power. CPU, memory and data bandwidth are the key enablers for IoT devices. Performance in the respective use cases. Any use cases with strict requirement for high performance such as interconnected cameras on autonomous vehicle will have to make some compromises on low power. Making hardware and system design work together. Beyond that, the core challenge of designing low power device is to find best in class hardware and having an overall system design that uses different modes of operation to a lower energy consumption. So next we'll see about finding a solution to low power IoT devices. Whether you design your own device or use those of an IoT solution, it's important to determine whether the tech can support the low power needs, your use case and demands. That means reevaluating your potential solution based on the electronics power efficiency and your level of control over the power modes. Building for low power use cases with particle, Device OS allows you to easily configure your device's power consumption with simple APIs built in the operating system that transition your application in and out of unified low power and sleep. On the hardware side, particles devices are standardized to be of the field ready to design low power application. That said, all of our devices are flexible, extensible and fully configurable. You can use a different variable hardware components to build your finished connected products including the components of antenna, enclosure, power, battery sensors and actuator interfaces. So conclusion, as we witness more advancement in IoT technology and the expanded capabilities of portable devices, the increasing deployment of 5G networks and interest in AI and automation will require teams to invest in improved associate design techniques, design optimization and customization tools. Connectivity will clearly drive the lot IoT design roadmaps and make a bigger impact on finding effective ways to improve operational efficiency, energy usage and overall quality of life in cities around the world. By continuing to prioritize low power designs and extended battery life for an IoT application, worrying about charging your smart devices daily just be a thing of past. Thank you.